All right, Colin now. He needs to get this up and down, folks. Whoa, 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 son. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So guys, welcome back to another Colin Ross golf video. Anyways, we're out here at Sunflower. We're gonna do something pretty novel today. It's a little different. We're gonna play golf, you know, like- Regular golf. That's what we're gonna do. Regular golf, three or four holes, not sure yet. We're out here on hole one at Sunflower. What do we, what's the prize if I win? The prize is- <laughs> So the prize is lunch, free lunch. Yes, dude, I love it when we do free lunch. It free, honestly feels good. Free lunch, high stakes. I'd rather just have 100 bucks so I can spend it on whatever I want. Shut up, right? I'm gonna go first. All right. You know the vibe? Bro, Steven Routine. using an orange cone and I love it. Steven with the orange cone here. So hole one, you know what it does. Par four, straight up the hill, down the hill, you never know. Steam with a little stinger action. Can't that actually That's not gonna be too bad. A little on the right rough, I'm assuming. No, that's gonna roll down the hill a little bit. We're sharing the tee. But I just yeah, bought so that. Shut up, you don't buy anything. <sighs> All right, got driver in hand here. All right, Matt here with driver. I, I have switched. So I, I got this, obviously, UST, uh, my Mia Stier, a new shaft that they got, but I switched out the club head for a 9.5 instead of 10.5, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. That is bleeding out a Bro, little Howard, right there. In the summer, he had the worst hooks, and now he has the worst slice. Worst he, than mine. That was kind of just a slice. push I fade, though. This, and that was not a slice. It's called a fade. I still have a driver. We got the 48 incher. <sighs> That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> sea Dog now, the Cleveland Yaya. Yeah. And Colin hitting a banger. Well, he hits the best shot out of his all. This for sure Clean. Is the only club I can hit good is my driver. Everything else is trash. Yeah, that's true. That was actually a really good shot, man. That was hit like he hit that about 14 yards, but yeah, yeah. Check it out. No, if you guys have not yet subscribed to Colin's channel, then I'm not sure why you're still watching this video. So it rained yesterday, so we're doing car path only today. Steven actually with a pretty solid stinger drive here. I don't know where Matt is. He's got to be in the woods. Oh, he's he's up there. All right, so we've arrived at Steven's ball. He's probably about like 145. There's the 150 stake. Oh, that's kind of cutting in a little bit. That might be green. Oh, it is. Here is Colin Sea Dog. He has about 135 in. See if he can't. What are you hitting? Gap wedge. I think it's more like 120. The flag is towards back middle almost. Man, that's actually a really good shot. There we go. Yeah, that would have been right at the pin. Right up next to me. Not that bad. Ball. That's not looking very good. Not looking good. Pin right up there. Like I can't, like I'm really thinking like trying to, but there's no way. What are you going for? Uh, seven iron, I'm just gonna try and play some, some cut out here. A little cut. Uh, oh, he did good right there. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I almost hit gosh, that perfect. His recovery game lately. Since it's been, been amazing. Cause that's like exactly what I had to do, and I kind of, I kind of left it a little closer than I wanted to. I wanted to leave it out there a little bit more, but um, if anything, we're gonna have a little chip up for a par. We all three had pretty decent shots there, actually. Yeah, we all got to the green on it too. Oh, Matt's not. Oh, he's on the green. I made the green. That's incredible. You can see how much it rained. Like, look at the the bunker is literally a pool. There's Steven's ball right there. There's my ball. My ball is pretty much pin high. Just pulled a little left. Um, and then Matt's. Matt is just barely on the front there. All right, I'm switching up my putty. Evidently, Steven's putting stroke is changing, so if this goes in. Peter gave me a little lesson. Well, wait, is that for what? That's for par. Holy, I can't even see Matt on the other end of the green here. Yeah, that was a that was a long tough putt there. Matt has a little bit of meat on the bone, you could say. Colin has a lot of meat on the bone for his birdie. Hit it! That's what I said. If you if you hit my tee, you're doing something very wrong. My whole putting game is so weak. All right, here's Matt for par. Dude, we all are struggling to make par on this first hole. Ah, he leaves it a little short. That's the, I think it's because the greens are a little wet. Matt's oh, happening Matt. with the old backy. And he got Almost it. Almost missed. All right, bogey start, not good. All right, Steven for par here. And aim at the top of the hole. Oh, a bogey start, baby. All right, we've got Colin now. He leaves it right in the cup. Really good putt for par. I'm trying to win my own free lunch. No, that's stupid. All right, so after my disappointing birdie putt, I made a par there. 
So I'm currently one up going into hole two. All right, Steven going first here. Uh, slightly dog leg left. Oh, he's playing that slice nice, actually. I want to carry to the rough. I got a three wood in. Technically, you're up. You were supposed to go first. Yeah, I know. But... I need that tee. That's for me. Do not throw that. God. Colin with the big swing. That's a beast of a ball. That's going to go into the rough. Unless the fairways are so much dope, that's gonna... That was a beast of a ball. I hit that pretty straight, actually, but yeah, I think I didn't aim slash. I don't know where I aim ever, actually. I think I just hit it too far right. All right, this is where you want to see Matt's handsy draw come in. Golf shoes on, so no slippage. Golf shoes are looking good. Steven's golf shoes are looking even better. Matt is up here. Oh, that is going dead straight. Gotta hit a pistol. Keep going. Bro, Keep going. The other fairway every time. Yeah, that is going to be in the other fairway. Right. But he, he'll have a play from over there. He so. had an angle from the other fairway if he hit it far enough. So hopefully I did. That sounded like a missile. Yeah, Steven is still probably about 300 out. So he's got three wood. Here we go. Three wood. I got about 300 out. That's going a little left. He absolutely he ripped that though. That should be short, not too bad over there. I still got a chip though, so I'm good. Yeah, he's good. That's the first time I've ever hit a shot straight. A little baby draw. Yeah, something, something decent. Something sounded man. good. All right, we've arrived at Matt's ball. What's it looking like? It's looking like this sucks. Is what it's look, look, looking like. Almost far enough out to. I forgot my two iron, which is, would be the perfect club here. But yeah. I have a two hybrid as well, so I can oh. probably use that. The trusty two. All right, boys and girls, I'm trying to win this free lunch here, so I gotta hit a kind of a beast of a shot, really. Let's start at that pine tree. Oh my, that looks good. Cool. Okay, knit the tree. Woo! I wanted. I tried to go through a tiny, the tiniest little gap when I didn't need to do that, but uh, nonetheless, we got it out. All right, we have landed at Collins' absolute bomb here, folks. He's got four iron in hand because the wind's a little bit in his face. It might not look like there's wind, but I think I have a feeling there's some up there. Whoa! I didn't see anything. That's right at the, the middle of the green. I think that's green. Is that green or is that, that might be... It's either green or long, but you hit a cut and it was pretty deep. It felt pretty good. Steven going for his third shot here. He's got a little chip up the hill. It's kind of what he's looking at. There's a good chance I leave this just a tad short. And he called it. You know what? Sometimes when you play golf, you just suck. Hey, I still can get up and down for. I mean, you still have a par chance, honestly. I mean, you're short game. All right. Uh, all right. So I landed like right, right in here on this casual water. So I'm gonna take my relief back here a little bit, and now we're chipping for eagle. So we kind of got to get this close. Hope that Colin misses, so I have a chance. Yeah, my ball. I somehow hit that about as perfect as I could hope. Yeah. Sit right there. Sit a little kind bit. Of. Okay, it's birdieable. Still pretty okay. decent looking birdie though. A little long. All right, Steven now here with the birdie chip. A little chippity chop. He leaves it just short. Give me that putter. Screw it. Give me that putter. He just barely got that. Gotta there. go. Steven, All right, so I still, I honestly don't know how I hit that shot, but I have a decent look at Eagle here. Steven for bogey, Matt for birdie. Here is Colin, he has an eagle play. I don't know how he got himself in this position, but absolute beast. It's got he taps it. Bro, you gotta give it, start giving her a chance. That's when not... there's water on the green, the water kind of attaches itself to the ball. Oh! Got it for birdie. All right, for birdie, I gotta make this. All right, Matt for birdie here. Oh, that looks good. I wow. I, putt. I putt that putt Wow, so that was times. clutch. Who needed to make that one to get free lunch. I have now a chance now. All right, Steven for bogey. Mm. That's, that's, not a, a, that's not a gimme, but watch this golf game. Oh, that was good. Plus three <laughs> through two. All right, so Steven's plus three, Matt's even, and You're I'm right. minus one. That's crazy. Have you ever had one under through two holes before? Definitely not ever in my life. Always time to choke it away and lose How lunch. How are you feeling? All right, I want to hit Collins with long driver. All right, Steven's going with my long driver, which, this yeah. This is not a good idea. It's... Steve! You go straight right? I can tell by the way he's looking at it. Matt here. 
I'm expecting to cut off the tee here. That is stinging. All right. That actually won't end up too bad though. Oh, oh no! The left side of that furthest tree, so that thing is missile that hill. So I'm taking a drop here. I lost it. Really? Rip. I have five iron. I don't know that I'm gonna get it there with this club. Yeah. But the wind's with me, so if I can hit this thing 230, 240, I can get it there. Yeah, the wind is definitely with him. Oh, that looks good, actually. Right at it. Let's go, baby, that bounce. Baby, I'm feeling good. Yeah, Steven's playing on the last hole fairway. He's going with a little two hybrid. Stinger through the gap. A little boys. stinger through the gap. Yeah, you can kind of see the pin through right there. That actually looks pretty dang good. Might be a little right, but. That needed to sit down. I, I mean, it was right at the pin. It just it needed to sit down a little bit. All right, so Colin has landed here. He has a tough shot. He can try to go over. Um, his flop will let him, but the the, the, the problem is going to be getting the distance to get to the hole. It's totally where you cut your losses and hit a 7-iron, but for some reason I want to go for it. Went, oh, it went over. It's just short, though. Man. Exactly what Matt called. And why yep. should... I'm telling you, because it's like, it's one, the problem is you're so focused on getting it over the tree and not focused on getting it to the pin. Okay, we're playing hole four as well. So he's not out of this. You're never out of stroke play. Okay. I mean, it's not what he really wanted, folks. I think Colin Ross is really starting to get pissed off here. He he walks off here at Augusta National. Um, now he's starting to get really pissed. Um, he started off as a really hot one under. He actually hit a decent shot. I didn't, unfortunately, get to see it, but... Go, go, go. All right. <clears throat> it's a tough little putt from there, but I think he can make it. Matt, a little short here, but very impressive shot from about 230 out. Stay down straight. Now, right. I basically have to make this have a chance. Yeah. And it starts rolling. And he leaves it way short again. Gosh oh, dang it, Colin. I'm going to tap this in real quick for a triple. Okay. There it is. Now, Steven thinks he's going to try to make this. Actually, does what he was going to say. But unfortunately, yikes. Oops, a little slide. Look at this. Slide. Look at this. Oh, he actually hit that. I gave myself perfectly. a chance. Matt here to tap in to stay at even par. I'm now two over par. So I really need him to miss this basically that many chance go. But he's money in the bank. He's I'm basically just. All right, so just when you think I can play golf, psych, I suck. All right, so I had a pretty good start there and then triple bogey hole after going in the hazard there. But hey, I mean, I'm still plus two through three. All right, so we're on to the last hole here. Par three, about 155 yards or so. A little downwind. All right, Steven here. All right, that's looking really good. Looking pretty meaty. Holy. So Matt's at even. I was at minus one, but now I'm at plus two after that nice little triple bogey. I pretty much have to have Matt Shank win the water here. That's the only hope that I have. And that's bleeding out a little bit right. He's it hard, son. I need so to go. Long. Down the hill. <laughs> so long. You and his chances yeah. immediately. And that was straight car path. And that. Now, so we thought Colin was out of the challenge, but his ball stayed in. Still out of the challenge, but at least I didn't go. I don't know if I hit this tree or something. I think he hit the back end of this tree or something right here, folks. I got an eight iron because I can't really get a backswing in with like. Yeah, he's got a tough little backswing position here. Yeah, that's about as good as you could do. Sit. All right, he's just short of the bunker. All right, Colin now. He needs to get this up and down, folks. Whoa, 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 son. That had some check. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. 
That so would have been so insane. Too hard. If, if I would have made that, that would have actually been crazy. All right, so Matt actually didn't go really that long there, just kind of off the back. You popped a little too soon there. All right, Matt now here. Kind of a tricky little situation. All right, let's look at sit, sit. Blowing up on the last hole. <laughs> All right, we're still fine. That's for bogey. All right, Steven now here for a birdie to actually tie me at plus three. Then he leaves it short. Bro, that's a nice that's little a clean bird. All right, Matt now here for his bogey. He just has to two putt here to seal the victory. Oh, that's cash. So that was it. That was four holes. I won lunch, and it's going to taste so dang good. What's going on, guys? I hope you enjoyed that video, even though I choked that away. Uh, Matt plays a pretty decent golf. We didn't get time to film the outro with Noodles & Company. Actually, I just kind of forgot. We didn't. I just forgot. It's honestly been kind of tough with all of the crappiness that's going on in the world right now to like keep motivated and keep like trying to work. It's just kind of like a helpless feeling, but I hope you guys are staying positive out there and you know doing your part in you know trying to help this situation go, not go away, but contain it as much as possible. But yeah, again, hopefully you enjoy this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.